Hey guys, Corpse Lord coming in today with my 2016 game room tour. I've been collecting for about three years seriously. I've been gaming my whole life. Uh, I have about 1500 games in this room and some other pretty cool shit. So stick around. I hope you really enjoy it. And uh, let's get right to it. All right, starting quickly over here. There's just a couple of game posters here, a couple of box set animated series I used to like. The old school Transformers, the Japanese continuation, the real Ghostbusters, a couple of big box game boxes I didn't really feel like putting out, like Disney Infinity 2 and Lego Dimensions, a couple Lego sets we have in the works right now, and kind of a space holder for some arcade cabinets I got coming in, and then refurbishing. We got some boxed consoles, not really everything I've got. Just some of the ones I was really close by that I was e easy to put out. Uh, a couple of collector's edition statues. The Pride and Joy. The Street Fighter 2 arcade cab. In excellent condition. Brand new screen and all that. And moving over here. It's my extra Xbox 360. Atari flashback. And Here's my retro gaming TV, I made out of a Iron Man 2 TV stand, and that's what I use for my Player 2 Xbox TV, and also all my retro systems I like to hook up to play any of the light gun games, stuff like that. Up top here we've got my Xbox One collection, my PS4 collection, and my Wii U collection. And down the bottom here, I've got a couple extra consoles. My old school Ecto-1, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man here. My Turbo Graphics with the disc system. Uh, a couple of Fantastic N64s, Extra Super Nintendo, and Genesis Model 1. Down here is my Gears of War action figure set. And behind that is all my old school game magazines. Really funny to read some of the old articles about the upcoming things they're expecting from new consoles that have been out for ages. Next we've got a poster for X-Men Days of Future Past and the game room mascot Waldo with his nice shirt made of faces. Down in this cabinet I've got a bunch of my collector's edition game boxes a launch day countdown clock for the Xbox One. More 360 games. Uh, I've got the Hyrule Historia in here. A couple copies of the Link to the Past comic book arc from Nintendo Power. Uh, a couple more Mario posters. Some such. And here's my main gaming area. Up top here we got the PS4, PS3, down below we've got the Xbox One and my Wii U with the world champion Batman here, as well as the Disney Infinity, or not Disney Infinity, the Lego Dimensions characters. A lot of fun playing that with my girls. Below it I've got the Halo 4 limited edition Xbox 360, my Sega Dreamcast, and my Sega Genesis Model 3. Below that, I've got my NES Model 2, my Super Nintendo N64, GameCube with the Game Boy Player, my Genesis Model 2, PS1, PS2, and my original Xbox. Pulling back here, we can see my NES coffee table that's in the works. Pretty much just needs to be painted up. Good thing I haven't done it yet because it looks like the kids have drawn on it. On top of that we got this month's Video Games Monthly box. Waiting to get un unwrapped tomorrow. And here we've got some cool storage in the table here. The front opens up just like a regular NES would. Over here next to the gaming TV we've got a Nintendo Club Smash poster. And above here we've got my Guinness World Record for the most 
Xbox 360 gamer score gained in 24 hours. I did that back in 2011. It's since been beaten. And then I've also recaptured it, but we had a lot of problems with the video footage and it wasn't enough to send in to get it confirmed, so that was a real bummer. On the plus side, I managed to raise almost a thousand dollars for the children's hospital, so that was really cool. So it wasn't a total loss. I'll do it again one day. Up top here we got the old school classic collection Ninja Turtles and Shredder. Uh, Next Man poster. Down here we've got some Club Nintendo Zelda posters. Uh, down here is my Lego Dimensions collection. We've got quite a few between my daughter and I. We're kind of hooked on it. Back here is the Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition bookends and a couple Lego sets we put together recently. Lego Dimensions got us really hooked on playing Legos. And I gotta have it. My Ghostbusters Ecto-1. I really want to get the firehouse, but that's about $500 I don't have. Over here, we have a, my boxed NES, as well as a boxed Optimus Prime here. Down is a few boxed games. We've got Fire Emblems, Zeldas, Pokemons, some Super Nintendo ones. We've got Mario Kart, Kirby, Earthworm Jim, Mario RPG, a bunch of really good ones. I have more boxes, I just can't seem to find them right now. Not a really big deal to me, I'm not a huge uh, boxed collector, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I've got the game to play, I'm good to go. My giant World of Nintendo Link, and below that, some of my handheld stuff, my original Game Boy, my Game Boy Advance Micro, and here we've got a bunch of small peripherals, rumble packs, SNES mouse, all that kind of crap. Moving down here is more of my handheld stuff. There's a Game Boy Pockets, Game Boy Colors, my PSP, my 3DS XL, 3D, uh, DS Lite, Pink 3DS, and an uh, Advanced SP. And moving over here, we have just a storage unit for a bunch of manuals, uh, all their random crap. And here we've got more peripherals like the Super Game Boy, Game Genies for all types of systems, and my Game Boy collection which is impossible to display. I don't know what to do to display these but I've got a ton of them. I love them. just don't know what to do with them. The bottom here a bunch of Infinity 2 characters. Nothing I'm really into collecting, but I thought it'd be fun for the kids, and I got them for the right price, a couple bucks each, so can't really complain about that. This storage unit I use mostly for all my projects I'm working on that I have disassembled, all my tools, all small parts and cables for everything, all that kind of jazz. This blue trunk here is full of transformers and action figures. I've got tons and tons. I've got bins and bins downstairs that I just can't seem to get out because I don't have enough room in this room or house in general. So hopefully we'll be rectifying that situation and moving soon. Up top we've got all my amiibos. I don't have all of them or even near all of them. I just go after the characters I want. As far as what I want, the only ones I'm missing are Lucina and Robin from Fire Emblem, because I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. A couple of small World of Nintendo guys, no big deal there. And then all the LEGO Dimension set. I did mention that we are hooked on it, so there's a ton of those. And below that, some Mass Effect display. And I'm a big horror movie fan, so here's a couple things here. Got the Necronomicon, Jason. Pinhead from Hellraiser, and my extra life medal from earning all that money for the children's hospital that I mentioned earlier. Below that, we get into the good stuff. It's all my N64 games. I put top labels on them because I'm tired of looking through every single game to find the game I'm looking for all the time, so that's been a huge help since then. Next to that, some 360 Connect games. Nothing too special. 
And over here is my main 360 collection, about 400 games. A big, big fan of the 360. I really liked a lot of the titles in that. Got my extra Halo Reach edition Xbox. Over here is my two original Wii's. One's a hacked Wii, so I can play really anything I want on it. So that's great. Well, that's just a PS2 Slim and an original Xbox. Nothing too fancy. Well, that's my PSP collection. And up here, I managed to get some of my Transformers collection out. We got my collector's set Devastator. I'm a big fan of that. I love old school Generation 1 Transformers. A couple game related ones. We got stuff from the Fall of Cybertron game and a few other randoms that I was able to get out. Over here is a couple more giant Transformers. I really, really wish I could get my Transformers set out. And here is my NES collection. About 220 games. Love my old school Nintendo, as most collectors do. Below that is my Genesis collection. Genesis was the second console I ever owned, so I'm lucky to still have all of those games in my collection, plus more. And below that is my modest PS1 collection. Uh, I only really collect RPGs for the PS1, so not a lot of the other ones hold up to me. I do like the odd horror game or anything like that, but besides that, that's all I collect is RPGs. Next to that is my 3DS and regular DS collection. A bunch of great titles in there. Looking to beef that up soon. There's lots still to go for. Next to that, we have my Majora's Mask 3D Messenger Bag. I'll probably never use, but I love Zelda, so I'll take anything that has to do with it. On top shelf here is all my Super Famicom games. Bunch of great games. Bunch of great games I can't play because reading is required and I can't read kanji, so that's out. But I got a bunch of cool beat-em-ups and shmups and stuff like that to play, so it's not a total loss. Still like playing them and trying them out. Below that's my main Super Nintendo collection. A lot of really, really good games in there. My very favorite system to collect for. Always looking for new ones. And below that's my modest regular Wii collection. I'm not a huge fan of the original Wii. But I got a few of the games I really want. Obviously the Fire Emblem, Zeldas, and a lot of the staple Mario games. Because you gotta have those. In this cabinet over here this is my PS2 collection. One of the greatest systems of all time. And the collection shows it. I've got a bunch of my favorite games of all time in here too. Obviously there's thousands still to go, so there's always something cool and new to find. Some hidden gems. Below that's my original Xbox. A couple crappy GameCube games. I keep the crappy GameCube games in here. I'm not a huge fan of manuals, but this bottom shelf is all manuals and game guides. I got them for a dime or less because I'm not really into them, but can't let them get thrown away at that price. And last but not least, over here, is my GameCube collection. GameCube's another one of my very favorite systems. Uh, I had it originally, but my brother used to take it up to his room all the time, so I never really bothered to collect for it, but I'm catching up. Below that is my PS3 collection. I'm not as big of a PS3 collection uh, collector as I am a 360 collector, but I always like to get all the JRPGs and other exclusives that Xbox doesn't bother to try to go after, I guess. Below that is my box Genesis games and Sega Master System games. Bunch of really good titles in there. And underneath my computer desk here we have my bin for all my extra controllers because you want to just leave those laying around to get tangled in a knot. And over here is the most comfortable couch on the face of the earth. It's where I do all my gaming. A couple Link plushies there. Uh, 
Above that along the wall is my Dark Knight Rises theater display. I love my Batman and I also love my Terminator so I got a Terminator display to go besides that. Wish it was a Terminator 2 display but you know, free is free. And that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you liked, what you didn't, what you think I could use more of. Uh, that being said, I uh, live in a small town which is really terrible for collecting but I still managed to get by and get some good deals here and there. It was pretty scarce at times but I still managed to pull through and get some pretty sweet snags. So if anyone wants to see a breakdown of a specific collection, just hit me up, let me know and I'll do that in the future. Alright, thanks guys.